Casper. Hi guys, it's your sister Eunice here. And we're back with another Do and Don't. All right guys, so these days it's getting really hot and humid in Korea. However, everywhere I do go, there the AC is on and it's getting really cold because of the AC. Plus my skin's getting really dry. Mm -hmm. I think facial mists are a really, really good way to immediately hydrate the skin. Mm -hmm. That's right, because mists are such a great way that provide that immediate hydration effect to your skin. And they do contain um, water or really uh, hydrating ingredients as well. But there is a myth that mists dry out your skin. Is this true? We're actually going to find out about this and we're going to recommend each and every skin type the perfect mist for your type. All right, that's amazing. Before we get started, don't forget to follow us on our Instagram at WishTrendTV and also subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm. Two, thermal water. So the most commonly used type of mist is thermal water from various regions. We recommend the thermal water type mist for oily and acne prone type skins, but not dry skin types. Right, because thermal water is literally just water. So it is great if you want that refreshing feeling for that very moment. However, it's not going to be able to give you that, you know, deep hydration or long hydration, not as much as we need or want. So for oily and acne prone skin types, we recommend this mist for soothing. Also for acne prone skin types, we recommend mists that contain AHA and BHA along with the thermal water. These products help exfoliate the surface of the skin and rebalance your pH level and even at your skin tone. So I know that some of you guys are using mist, but you're thinking, oh my gosh, but after I use the mist, my skin feels even more dry. What's going on, right? Most likely you're using product that has thermal water or um, some type of alcohol like ethanol in it. So please do check. You're probably going to see those ingredients. Yeah, because mists that contain thermal water or denatured alcohol and ethanol evaporate really fast so soon after your skin feels dry. But there may be a few of you guys saying, Only I checked the ingredient list and there's no ethanol in there, there's no alcohol and there's no thermal water. What's going on? So maybe for those of you guys, you might not be using your mist properly. So we're going to be actually sharing how to use the mist properly at the later on in the video. So don't go anywhere and stay tuned in. Two. Water, plant, fruit extracts. For products that contain water and plant, fruit extracts, we recommend it for all skin types. Yes, and the most well-known um, ingredients are aloe, mugwort, herbs, green tea, Centella asiatica, witch hazel, and we have blueberries, lemon, and grape. And we're gonna be talking about a few of these. I think one of the most common ingredients we use for at-home skin treatment is green tea. Have you guys ever tried putting green tea bags on your eyes for cooling or green tea face wash? Mm -hmm. The most well-known effect of green tea is the skin soothing effect and also on skin tone improvement. And relatively, if your mist contain water or green tea, it's gonna be less sticky compared to those mists with plant extracts. And also it's gonna be more hydrating as well. So we recommend this for all skin types, but especially if you have oily skin, this could be your summer soul go-to. All right, next we're gonna be talking about the ingredient tray hollows. And cactus is a really good example of this ingredient. Tree hollows is an ingredient that um, it helps the plants to stock up on moisture. So in order for the plant itself to be able to survive through extremely dry and harsh climates. Tree hollows is an excellent ingredient that helps to maintain moisture, that helps to maintain hydration, that helps to prevent skin damage as well. And one more thing, it helps to extend the preservation period as well. So it's a great ingredient. And also another fun fact. Did you guys know that Trey Hollows is included in artificial teardrops? So it means it's a certified ingredient for hydration and safety. When Trey Hollows meets the skin, it works to reabsorb moisture in a very short time, which helps it maintain moisture in the skin. And it even contributes to skin elasticity and creates a skin barrier, preventing skin damage from external irritation. Lastly, we're going to be talking about mist for sensitive skin types because I know that can get really difficult for those of you with sensitive skin types like myself to actually choose a really good mist for you. And uh, we want to recommend um, thermal water and from the plant extracts, you want to recommend um, aloe, uh, centella asiatica, azuline, witch hazel, and also green tea. I've been seeing mist lately that contain oil and water or cream and water and these type of mists usually contain layers. So the oils that they usually use are olive oil, jojoba oil, or avocado oil. 
And of course, it may depend on each product, but those with the layers, you do have to really shake well before you use it. And it's better that you actually spray it into the air and let the water particles kind of fall onto the face. It's more of an effect like you're taking like a steam shower. What the oil and cream does in these type of products is prevent the evaporation of the moisture. But if you have oily or acne prone skin, this may make your skin more oily or cause and worsen breakouts. Now, we have a tip for those of you that have extremely dry skin. So we're going to show you how to effectively use a mist for extremely dry skin. We want you to actually layer the mist between your skincare steps. Yes! So use your toner and then mist. Use your serum and then mist. Use your lotion and then mist. Cream and then mist. So your skin is gonna be so packed with moisture. It's gonna be like a bomb of moisture for you. So actually, your makeup is not gonna go on smoothly because there's so much moisture on your skin. However, if you have dry skin concerns, or especially during the winter time when it becomes really dehydrated, this is a great tip for you guys. Unlike applying oil directly to the skin, this packs moisture in from all the different steps. So no matter how dry your skin you are, your skin will feel moisturized if you use your mist like this. Now, a mist with alcohol may give you that immediate refreshing feeling for that very moment. However, if you have sensitive skin or even dry skin, or if you have concerns of redness, it's better that you don't use those mists. Yes, it'll make your skin feel even more dry and irritated once the alcohol evaporates. Before we teach you guys how to use the mist properly, we're going to give you guys an organized list on what type of mist you should use based on your skin type or situation. Okay, so I'm going to teach you guys the right way to use a mist. Step 1. Spray from 20 centimeters above the face downwards to the face. Try not to spray the mist directly onto your face because the water particles may make your skin dry out. The water droplets may make it harder for the moisture particles to get absorbed, so try to get the even particles on your face by spraying it further away. Number 2. Tap it in with a sponge or your hands. For a mist made with moisture, whatever isn't absorbed evaporates which causes dryness. Mist can be used both before or after makeup, but if your mist contains powder particles or pearls, then try to use it after makeup. Alright, so now I'm going to be talking about the wrong way, the no-no way to use a mist. Actually, some people um, use it really slowly when they pump it or they don't do it fully, they do it like halfway. So the best way to use a mist is you have to do it fully and you have to do it quickly so that the water particles are actually small enough so that it will sit on your skin more comfortably. And for most of these nitrogen mists, the directions tell you specifically not to um, shake it. So we do want to recommend that you don't shake it because actually the nitrogen is not mixed with the mist. It only comes out when you're actually spraying it or misting it. So when you shake the bottle, the nitrogen can actually block the very entrance that the mist comes out from. Eventually, it's not going to be able to spray out properly. So we do want to recommend that you do not shake these nitrogen mists. Guys, we hope you found the perfect mist for your skin type. And we hope that you found this video helpful and you had fun with us. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. We will leave the links of the products down in the description box below. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Let's miss the wave.